Reflective practice helps you to improve and develop. It evolves and involves deliberately analyzing your experiences and actions. For example, an athlete thinks about what makes they made during a training session. Then consider ways to avoid those mistakes in the future. A student reflects on how they studied or for a test, how they performed and they figure out how to study more effectively. What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, I am Aditya Malukuri, the host of Tats Podcast, the great feature for your bright future. And today in this episode, I would like to discuss about reflective practices and its importance. Let's see some benefits of reflective practices. The most notable benefits are like acquisition of new knowledge, refinement of existing knowledge, a better understanding of the connections between theory and practice, a greater understanding of the re- relation rational behind your actions, improvement of your goals, a clear understanding of yourself, increase the feeling of competence, high motivation to act, and improve for improved performances, and many, many more things. Let's see how to engage in reflective practices. There are different approaches to reflective practice. practice. One way to engage in reflective practice is to ask guiding questions. In the context of a recent event, ask yourself how did I feel while the event was happening, what were my goals, what were the key things I did, what went well, what did not work, what should I do the same way next time and what should I change next time. You can also engage in reflective practice through reflective writing and which can take various forms. One of the biggest thing is Graham Gibbs reflective cycle. The reflective cycle is a process that guides reflective practices through the following steps. Number one, respect what happened without judgment or analysis. Two, define how you felt, what you were thinking and how you feel now but without judgment. Number three, evaluate everything that happened, the good and the bad. Analyze the situation is the fourth one to make sense of everything that occurred. Five, draw conclusions based on the information you gathered so far. Number six, figure out what you will do differently next time. There are three main types of reflection. There is one anticipatory reflection, reflection that's performed before an event occurs. Involves asking that might happen, possibility, challenges, how can you prepare and how you should respond. Number two is reflection in action. Reflection that you do while an event is happening, asking whether things are going as expected, how you are feeling and all. Number three is reflection after reaction. Reflection that you carry after an event has an accurate call as reflection after action. Self-distancing may be beneficial to help in, a, help in the reflection processes. Ask yourself what advice you would give someone else if they were in your situation. About first person language when the considering your performance and ask yourself what could you have done differently instead of what could I have done differently. Try to visualize the events that you have to perspective of other people involved. Reflectivity practice as shared activity. A shared act- Activity, reflective activity can take various forms such as discussing your experiences with other people, having someone with expertise ask you guiding questions to help you reflect. A shared reflective practice can be beneficial as a group might have to be identify more issues than individuals would fail to notice. But the process can be almost be stressful for sure people. How to increase reflective practices in others. Start by explaining the concept of reflective practice. Explain the benefits of reflective practice. Explain how to engage in reflective practices. Some related concepts to reflective uh, practices are like reflexivity and critical reflection. I mean, reflexivity is people's ability and tendency to display general self-awareness. Critical reflection is an in-depth type of reflection which is being aware of how your assumptions affect you and examining your actions and responsibilities from moral, ethical and social perspectives. So this is today's episode. Hope I can with some value-added content for you. Thank you for listening. I am Aditya Malukuri, the host of Tats Podcast. Signing off. Peace.